Well, let's get this mission started then, shall we? Alright, Shiv. You move on out first. Please don't trigger. Alright, there's no one near us. Um, I suppose move to there. As far as I'll take you. Oh, melt. Uh, I wonder what kind of timer it's on though. But yeah, it's going to be one of those jerkish ones there. Yeah, I'm close. I'm but I've only got like two turns on the timer. Alright, Chibi. Just in case. Gonzales, Murad, Zhang, you really can't move for the life of you. And Medic, you also stay at the back. Don't know what kind of aliens are out there just yet. Uh, Murad, Overwatch. I really hope I can catch an alien this map. I need that. And I, I cannot catch a floor if we ever encounter them. Has to be a sectoid or a thin man or maybe a muton. I think that also would work. Because floaters unfortunately require some... a lot of prequisite research being done before you can in interrogate them. And that's aliens over this way. Looking at where the meld is... Guessing around this location, somewhere. Well, that's just a guess. Though I'm still going to prepare. Because if, if this pod is good enough, at best, just three sectoids, at worst, two mutons and whatever. If it's three sectoids, then yes, I can try and catch them. I'll be glad to try that. Off. That's what we're looking for. Oh, you saw the meld. That spot was actually starting to risk it. Zhang. I understand. Moving. Okay, yeah, you're. F yeah, just put your legs through that rock. There now. Nothing wrong with that. Roger. Oh, sectoids. Ah, but that could just be two sectoids and a muton. Because that is just. Son, that um, for the people that don't play XCOM, the sound is basically from the alien that is most predominant in the pod. So that could mean two sectoids and a muton, or could be just three sectoids. And we got lucky, I suppose, two sectoids and a drone. Ooh, 96 on the drone, but I'd rather take out one of the sectoids with you, considering how close to the front you are. Moray. Could you try and shoot him down? Nice shooting, Tex! Right. Shiv, can you follow up with a good shot on this sectoid back here? Yes, you can. I'm liking that already. Now. Chevy, Maybe? No, you can't get line of sight. That's not good. I was hoping to use your mind free capabilities, but... That's apparently not going to happen. 
Zhang, you hide there. You dash up there, because you're going to be needed for trying to catch this guy. That's not cover. I just hope he doesn't see you. I hope he retreats. Knowing his AI, he should. I made a big mistake. Go on, retreat, retreat. I don't want you to see the guy that's out of cover. That's it, retreat. He's dashed. Right. Shiv. You should be able to get it from there, huh? Let's see if we're walking into a trap first. Dash to there. Doesn't seem to be anything up ahead, which is good, to say the least. Toma. We still can't be completely sure. Because that's only like two extra tiles, three extra. No. It's like five extra tiles out of visual range, so. Yeah, that's about as far as the battle scanner can go, but I'd rather toss it inside. Right, toss it there. See what's uh, over that way. See if he's running to any of his friends. No. Alright, so it looks like we might be safe to make a capture. Oh wait, no, 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 we are definitely not safe. Oh, that's not good. Since we can't see their health, I'm gonna assume the worst. I'm gonna assume a captain floater, or a, or a leader floater, or a leader muton in that pack. I hope not, I really hope not. I may get lucky, they might just be the basic ones. But I don't like my luck. RNG this has never been good for me that much. With the captures in this LP, it's just. Yeah, no. Uh, El Asho. Or El Asho. Ash up. Murad. I don't see any other place to put you, so you just sit tight. Are they coming to us? Yes, they are. That's not good. We might not be able to make a capture on this sectoid. Oh, he's firing on the shiv. You are one ballsy sectoid. How dare you? Though I'm more worried about what's coming. Chevy, what's a rocket like for you? Just out your range. Okay, you can't see them, that's good. At least it was the shiv that got hurt. Adjusting sight. Dang. I'm determined to not kill that sectoid. Moving to position. I think you saw the sectoid there for a second. 
Which I suppose was a good thing, but... Right, Zhang. Move there, prepare a rocket for if they come even closer. Shiv. Suppress him. If he tries to move... Well, he'll die if he makes that mistake and I'll have to go for the muton. If he doesn't move then... Perfect. I don't like that muton. Oh crud. They're active. That pod is now active. Yeah, don't you dare. Chivy. Oh, Chivy. Have some fun. With pleasure, huh? His intimidate didn't get you. That's good. Can I blow that up with a second rocket? If so, I'd be very, very appreciative. You said you would hit. Oh, come on. Guys, we don't have time for this. You have platform stability. Suppose you move here. And reload. I kind of want to take this turn to try and capture, but with the muton and everything there, that's not... That's not the wisest of choices. And if I move there, I'll probably crit and kill. But it's probably the safest option I have. Oh, perfect. You didn't crit and hit for three. You're a god among women. And actually, no, I can't put you there. That's just asking to be grenaded. There, the guy might not be able to see. There's no way you're going to be able to thread the needle as the... Oh yeah, you've got, you've got danger zone. Please try and thread the needle. I need that muton out of action now. It blew up. The 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 thing blew up. Yeah. Oh, who I wanted you to see. Move back. Someone might be getting hit. Oh no. Your armor's intact. The chef. Ooh, right, the Shiv hasn't taken any more damage. Damn it, Sectoid's buggering off. Chibi. What can you potentially do? You can potentially get both them, but you know I, I might be more inclined to hit there. And try and kill the muton behind the cover. 
So we've got shots with other people on the uh, floors, I'm pretty sure. Can't afford for you to miss those seventy eights. Good, good. All right, you've got an eighty two percent. I'm going to take the rocket with Chevy. That's gonna have wasted a lot of my rockets, but I do not want that muton doing anything to screw me up. Now please don't mess up this rocket. He's dead. There's his corpse. No more grenades, so... Let's see what we can do. Suck. Chev, please. Thank you. We only have the sight toy to worry about now. On the move. I need you to keep tabs on him. I'm on it, Commander. Right, move there. We're gonna need someone to run up with you. Provide cover in case you uh, screw up. Well, not you screw up, but the uh, arc thrower decides, hey, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna work, because Shen's a douche. <laughs> you are crazy! Right, before I do anything, I want to make sure people have shots. Right. Zhang has a shot. Medic has a shot. If I move you, you're going to have a shot. Yes. Now is the best time we could possibly hope for. Didn't trigger anyone, that's good. I just hope those were the only two pods. Now, RNG Jesus, please let me capture this guy so I can actually start interrogating. Oh, for crying out loud. This game does not want me to interrogate. Kill the bastard. I don't have any more stuns. This game does not want me to interrogate. Right. Yes, Commander. Now to storm the barn. I'm rolling. Let's rock. The shift shouldn't be out for too long, thanks to Field Surgeon. All right, there's the UFO. That's obvious. I have no clue where the outsiders are, so stay away from it until I've got some battle scanners on the the eel. There does seem to be another active pod. I don't like the prospect of that. Want you to have a spare med kit? No. Move back. Good to go. 
And of course you just can't make it this turn. That's typical. I sincerely hope this last pod is inside the UFO. I suppose that's a bad thing as well. Because I'd have to face them along with the outsider. Murray. Full cover. You head to that half cover there. Healed up. You hear that? So it looks like they are in the UFO. Moving. Can we get a battle scanner where I want it? Pretty much. Sweeping. All right. What are we seeing? The outsider. The outsider, nothing else it seems. Maybe the last pod's all the way back here? Or maybe it's just in front here and obviously we haven't seen it. I'm willing to bite my luck, it's just at the front. Alright, that meld is right in the view of the outsider. We go for that, the outsider will trigger. So we need to get people into position fast if we want to get that meld. The nearest pod was towards the UFO, so in theory we should be fine to move up here. You move there. Gonzales, you... You need to go up front. Zhang... You really can't move anywhere, can you? That actually might be the final alien. Oh god. Yeah, that meld is going to pop, so... If we want that meld... Right. Shiv. You're gonna get us that meld. Chevy. You can actually move there and still have the option to steady, which is nice. If he comes out, you are going to be ready to take him out. Just a second. Oh, that's better. That's better. Anyway. But yeah, um, I'll probably have that mod installed for next episode. So yeah, it won't have any effect on soldiers that are that have already been made. But any new soldiers we get, it will affect them. So yeah, medic. I suppose you just 
Yeah. You, on the other hand, you can just dash right up. Right, this is it. Shiv, it's either do or die here. Oh good, you can get here. So you can kinda hide from the outsider. Or the outsider kinda hid from us. Oh no, he can still see you. Uh, suppress him. Suppress them, that'll allow us to get into a better position. And or use run and gun to hopefully destroy him before he actually gets a chance. So let's do our uh, scatter and laser before, or shower ray, before uh, you do that. Uh, yeah, you move there. That's not good. Alright, he's not come out your way, so move there. Oh, you can see him too. That's 0% on the mind fray. Dang, he's got well. We really didn't need that. Run and gun. I'm afraid if we move there, he won't be able to see, so. Going pretty risky. Nice work, nine crit. What made this mission troublesome was trying to catch that sectoid and then failing after all of our efforts. Shen, we are going to have words, my friend. A lot of words. Gonzales, shock and awe, useless to you. Squad sight, not too useful, I don't think. Smart microwaves, I suppose, can be useful. But you know what? I'll see if squad sight works with basic weapons. I don't think it does, but... One way to find out. Marad. Uh, yeah, extra conditioning. You've got absorption fields, you've got extra conditioning. What's not to love about that? You've also got reactive targeting sensors. The only problem is, though, you'd chew through your ammo. The medic. Bioelectric skin or distortion field. If you get hit, damage control should help you mitigate the damage. And with distortion field, anyone around you will be... they'll have more defense, which means you'll be targeted a lot more. So an actual fact, distortion field. And then savior probably. Yeah. Yeah, shev damage six days. That's not that bad. Sixty three meld. Hoo wee. Starting to capture a live alien. Damn it, Shen. Oh 
we don't have any Stingray missiles available and we've got laser cannons arming, but they take six days. I can't go after this one. Uh, which also did remind me of something I needed to do. Was it here? Yeah, that was it. Intel scan. Intel scan complete. Bingo. You're not taking any of my research, you're not taking any of my money, and you're not panicking anyone. I shouldn't go on the mission, really. Negative. To be real. Cause mayhem. Though lightning reflexes and sprinter and low profile. You know what? Actually, yeah, I should. That movement. I kind of have to. I need all the, the uh, survivability I can get. Right. Uh, yeah, send me on the mission. Covert operative deployed to disrupt exalt cell in Nigeria. This ain't no holiday for me. Scatter laser and laser sniper rifle. So, what is it, Doctor? structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cybersuit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them... Meld. Yep. And I need to assign more research. Because I hit the wrong button. The genetics lab is now available. Nice. Chrysalid autopsy. Nine days. I believe as soon as we get the sectoid autopsy done, that opens up some psionic stuff. I can't remember. Or that might be XCOM 2. Yeah, I believe to interrogate a floor you need like alien computers and stuff like that. No, actually no. I can't remember. I appreciate but we're gonna do that anyway. The research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Good for you, Valen. You know what? Let's get this. We've got enough money. Can't anyone even be promoted to that. Wait. Oh yeah. Sasha Fedorov. Who was Watkins? Members of your squad within twelve tiles gain double the base uh, damage reduction from cover, or squad receives a base plus five defense. This is anywhere on the map. So since he uh, he's a running gunner, 
This will be good. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Yeah, nothing new here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that was the uh, bad thing about not being able to shoot that down. And they've cut our funding as a result. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. That's why I needed to focus a bit more on the air game. Commander, our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplink. Now our ships can do even more damage. No! I need them. Excavation complete. Enhanced ballistics. Yep, alloy jacketed rounds. Ballistic and goss, I was right. Uh, yeah, let's make a couple then. Well, I think that's pretty much it, actually. Hey, it unlocks anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, take it. We've got a lot of it from that last mission. Oh boy. It's already come. Data recovery. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Better off. Jamie. Anton, let's bring your um, thin man. Einarsson. Shall I bring Shen? Yeah. Uh, I've already got a medic. Yeah, I don't need two medics. Yeah, shift's still repairing. Right. Yeah, let's bring the tank. Looking good there, Chef. You really are an anti-air gun. Set air and... Quite a lot of medics, actually. Ah, eh, Gonzales, why not? Right, make items available. You've got phallic armor on, that's still, that's good. Uh, yeah. Einerson. Jamie. 
Jansen. Yeah, you don't need uh, phallic armor. Right. You have grenadier. Yeah, I think you're set up actually. Oh, Jamie. Oh, Jamie. Enjoy your toy. The first person to test the scar laser. Enjoy. Because, I mean, you get the badass laser shotgun. Ah, uh, yeah, you take that. Shen. Laser rifle. Let's give you a shredder. So yeah, that's the squad. Let's save. Do I have any down here, huh? Yeah. Well, this has been Squash Boy One One Two. Signing out. And one last thing actually. XCOM 2 in about one week. The day I'm recording this. January 29th. February 5th. Is the day we've all been waiting for. Good luck, Commanders.